Hey folks, in the following tutorial I'm going to quickly show you how to add a new page in WordPress and some of the options for that. So first things first, let's go ahead over to uh, your WordPress dashboard and from here you'll want to navigate to pages and to add a new page is very very simple. You can go ahead and click add new and once this page is created there are a few things you'll want to do to get started. First things first, you'll want to go ahead and add your page title, so add page title. The next option and thing that you will want to do is uh, decide if you want to make this uh, a type of page that has hierarchy and by that I mean do you want this page to be a sub page of another page. So for example, you could set up a main page, uh, it could be locations um, and then maybe you would like to have sub pages of that for various different locations. London, Miami, Paris, etc. In this case, you would set up the main page location. Then for the sub pages, you would then choose the main page location from this page tributes tab, and that would then give them hierarchy and structure. This is something that is present with pages um, and it's something you don't get with blog posts. So that's how you can slightly differentiate between the two. The next thing you'll want to do is go ahead and start adding your content. So to do, that, to do that, you go to this main content area and you can go ahead and click add media, upload your images, add your text, etc, etc. Now this will differentiate between different providers. Some may have page template options available here. For example, with flow themes, you actually have a layout builder where you're able to build a page and set it up right here. Other options and features that are available for most theme providers uh, would be sidebars. So again, if you have a blog or you need a sidebar for your page, you can normally select this in the loads and sidebars tab. And finally, whenever you are publishing a page, you have various options for that also. So up here you see that there is a publishing section and in here right now it's currently set to draft as we have not published it. You can publish it in various uh, different ways. So you can set it as public, uh, password protected or private depending on your needs. Uh, private will only allow editors and admins that are logged in to view the page. Uh, so this will only be relevant if you are creating new pages and you need someone to proof that, that on your website. Maybe you have an editor um, or someone who does that for you. If you just want to keep a password protected page so a user cannot see that without a password, go ahead and select that also, add a password. And then of course public is available for everyone. Uh, it's not always true, people cannot always navigate to your page unless you put it in the menu or a way to click through to that. You have options for when you want to publish it, so you could actually select a date in the future for this page to be live and published, uh, so you would just uh, select the option for that, otherwise you can just publish it immediately. And then of course you have the status, again it's pending review or draft, in this case we'll leave it as draft and as soon as we hit this publish button here, we will then have a fully published page. Again, you can preview the page once it is fully, uh, or once it has been published, or of course, prior to that, you can also do that as well by just hitting this preview button, and this will then show you the page and how it looks. Again, this is only a basic uh, option to show you how to set up a page and add a little bit of content. For each theme provider, it will be slightly different, and you may use different options to build out a full page. So that's it folks, go ahead, get started and start adding some pages.